Hey guys, Derek here, and in this video, I will be doing my first ever Webinar Jam review. Now, inside this review, you're going to see an inside look at Webinar Jam, how to configure your webinars, and I'll also do a separate video or a separate screenshot of what it looks like once you're actually conducting the webinar so you can see all the controls and everything once you actually get your webinar set up. So it's really gonna be broken down into really two parts. First is setting the webinar up and showing you the admin and the dashboard from that standpoint. But then there's the second part which is gonna show you what to do once you get the webinar launched and how to control everything from there. So let's get started. So this is the screen that you come to right off the bat. So you'll see you've got a quick start area, you've got my webinars, you've got new webinar analytics and training. This is pretty self-explanatory. The new webinar, this is where you go obviously to create a new webinar, analytics, this is where you get the data based on your attendees, who attended, that sort of thing. And then there's some training that will walk you through the process as well. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna click on new webinar. Now they have an express configuration or they have a full configuration. So the express configuration is very easy to do. You can set this up in less than a minute. So you just quickly go through that. Let's just click on this and just show you the difference in what you're looking at. So you can see this, once you set up an express configuration, this is just all that you have to do. So you just put in your webinar name, your title, your description, your name, uh, your name, the host name, and then you simply click confirm and then it's going to spit out your links to start promoting this webinar. That is not what we're going to be doing in most of these scenarios. In most of these scenarios, we're going to be going with a full configuration, which is where I want to spend most of the time with today. So we just click on this where it says full configuration and this walks you through a step-by-step -step process what's very very easy to do so we'll start with the basic configuration and anytime you want to edit this all you got to do is just hit this little pencil icon this opens up the configuration here where you just fill out the information and then once you're done you simply hit confirm so webinar name this is for our reference only so what we're going to do is we're going to title this Derek Pierce August webinar you could title this the name of the webinar if that's something you wanted to do Webinar title, this is what people are gonna be seeing that you're inviting to the webinar. So you wanna keep your copy in line and you wanna keep it something that people are gonna to want to subscribe to. So we're just gonna title this Secrets to Slapping Google and Getting Page One Results Overnight. How about that? And it would help if I could spell that right. All right, so it looks something like that. Webinar description, uh, I'm just gonna title in, type in Derek Pierce webinar, and then go on to the next section. So the next section is whether we want to list this in the on-demand section. The on-demand portal is something that's built into Webinar Jam to where people can access it. I'm not gonna do that right now, so we're just gonna click don't list our webinar. Once we get all this filled out, click confirm, and obviously I would come up with some better titles and descriptions than what I just did. Your presenter, this is where you fill out your information and you just plug in your name, your email address, and a brief bio. I'm just gonna leave this as we speak right here. You can also customize your picture as well, which I would highly recommend that you do. You want people to be able to see a face with what it is that you're doing. So once you fill that out, you simply click confirm. Then you configure the webinar provider. Now this is what's cool about this. You've got three different options inside Webinar Jam. First of all, you've got the Jamcast. This is the network that's built into Webinar Jam. So once you become a user, this is what you have available to you. Then you also can broadcast this using YouTube Live. Now, once you do YouTube Live, if you do it on, on YouTube, then your audience on YouTube will also see this as well. So that way you can get the benefits of you know video SEO and things like that if that's something that you're looking to do. Uh, Facebook Live, this is similar to YouTube Live. Instead of using YouTube Stream, you're using your Facebook Live Stream, and this is where it's going to be broadcast on your um, on, to your friends and, and the people that are following you. Okay, so once you do that, once you set that up, you simply click Confirm. So I'm just going to click jamcast for right now and click confirm then you go to next and this is where you configure your schedules so we click right here and we can either set this up to go right now or we can click to schedule it i'm going to click uh, schedule it then you've got the option of doing a single presentation or a series of presentations so you can configure this ever how you want. So I'm just going to select a date on this. I'm going to put this to be August the 5th and I'm going to do 
2 o'clock p.m. on Eastern Time Zone. And I'm gonna click Add. Once I've got that in there, I click Confirm. Always have to click Confirm. If you click Next before you click Confirm, then it's not gonna take it. And so it'll, it'll, it'll let you know that, no big deal. Uh, the registration page and process, you simply click this and you select your reg page. Now here's the cool part about this is you'll see these percentages here. So this is the average opt-in rate across Webinar Jam users. So obviously you wanna use something that has a higher opt-in rate. So we're gonna to click to select this one and you can see we can customize this ever how we want. So if we wanted to change you know, this information out, or if we wanted to delete it all together, we could do that. I'm just gonna click that. And then I'm gonna, if we wanted to, to delete the Webinar Jam branding or if we wanted to change it and upload something of our own, we could do that as well. I'm just gonna delete this real quick. And then we're gonna click Save and Exit. Okay, so you can, again, you can configure that ever how you want. So we're gonna click Confirm. The registration form fields, this is where you ask for your name, email. If you wanna add a phone number in there, you could do that as well. Uh, I typically just do name and email is what I do. So once you've got that set up, you click confirm again. And this gives you the option if you wanted to charge for the webinar or if you want this to be a free webinar, then you can set that up right there. And then you can also password protect. So if you've got some members that you're wanting to password protect this, then you could set that up as well. I'm not gonna fool with that right now, but the options are available to you. So we click next, and then this is where you can set up your webinar notifications. You've got the option of doing email, or if you're collecting the phone numbers, you can also do a SMS as well. So this is where you, I would recommend that you come in and configure these emails. The cool thing about this is you can set these up as you see fit. So I would set them up to go one, at least the, the initial confirmation, then I would do one day before, and then I would do a couple of hours before the webinar, just letting them know uh, that you uh, that the, that the webinar is, is going on because a lot of times people get busy and things like that and they just forget. Then you've got the option of doing a post webinar where you tell them about the replay. So if you're sending them a replay message, then you can have that built into uh, within Webinar Jam. So I'm not gonna mess with this, but just know that that is a possibility and that is a ability within Webinar Jam. I'm just gonna click confirm and leave it as it is. Next, we go to the autoresponder integration. So you can see I don't have anything configured on this one, so I can just click this right here. And you can see we've got all these different autoresponders that we can configure. So if we wanted to do active campaign, a Weber, Infusionsoft, whichever one of these that you want, then you can set that up and it will then drop your, your emails and drop your leads that have registered for your webinar. It will drop them into your autoresponder. And then you can have the sequences going as you see fit inside your autoresponder. I'm just gonna click cancel because I'm not gonna integrate that just yet. Then you can integrate your affiliate link into your webinar pages. So anybody that's watching your webinar, it's gonna say powered by Webinar Jam in the bottom. If they click on that, then what that's gonna do is that's going to allow you to get paid affiliate commissions as well. Here's where you can integrate third-party tracking systems. So this is where you can put your tracking code if you are tracking or if you're wanting to put any kind of Facebook retargeting or anything like that or Google retargeting, you could plug that in there as well. So now we're gonna click next and go to the next tab. This is the thank you page. So we can customize our thank you page. You can see we've got a lot of different templates to select from. And you can preview any of these just by clicking this little preview icon and you can see it's going to allow you to open a preview just like so. Very simple stuff, very easy to do. And I'm just gonna to click to select that one right there. And then I'm just gonna click save and exit. Okay, so then we're going back to the thank you page and we're gonna click confirm. And then you can say, I want to allow auto subscription to future webinars. If you wanted to edit this configuration, then you can have that set as an option for people that come into your webinars. Survey your reg registrants, you can have surveys built into this. I'm not gonna go into detail, but just know that that is a possibility and that is something that you can use to help keep your subscribers and your registrants engaged within your webinar. So you've got uh, ability to customize your countdown page. You can pre-configure your webinar with polls. 
You can have offers built into it. This is probably what most of you are gonna be looking at is this section right here where you put in an offer inside your webinar. So you just simply click this. Then you're gonna click add new offer. And this is going to allow you to name your offer. You can also add your image. And whenever you make this offer, you can configure the link that the button is gonna to go to. So that way you can say, hey, here is the offer, whatever it is, and click on the link that you see that's showing up, and then people will go to your order page from there. And you have the option then to apply scarcity, urgency, and you can also broadcast real-time sales. I'm not gonna go into that, but just know that you have that option available. So once you configure your new offer, then you simply click confirm. Now I haven't done that, so I'm gonna click cancel. And then you've got some other options where you can add some videos inside your webinar. You can uh, have file sharing, and then you can pre-configure your presentation as well. So then we're gonna click next, and then this is where you can enable your webinar replay page. So you've got the option to enable or disable. If you click enable, this is going to allow people to consume the replay inside of Webinar Jam. Now, what we do there, we click next, and now we are ready to rock and roll with our webinar. So then once you've finished this, then you just click here and it's gonna tell you what to do and it's gonna tell you where to grab your links. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the dashboard and this is where our links are at. So you can see we've got run a test and we've also got our links right here. So I'm gonna click on run a test because I highly recommend that you do this to get this all set up right out of the gate. So you can see we've got this right here where we Im invite people to our webinar. Now this is a test, so don't, uh, so don't, I wouldn't advise inviting people to the webinar. What I would do is I would use this presenter login links just to kind of get yourself familiar with the uh, with the webinar process and how to conduct the webinar and all the different controls as I'm gonna show you here in just a moment. Now you can invite people if you wanted to inside this test one, if, say if you have friends or family you wanna send this to, that way they, they can give you some advice as to you know how things look and whatnot. But this is where you're gonna be spending most of your time inside the test webinar is the presenter login links right here. Then you've got the uh, replay recording, you can see what that would look like as well. So once you have tested it and you're ready to go live, then this is where you have your links right here, which you just click on this. And then this is the link that you're gonna be sending people to, to register for your webinar. And then you've got, this is your login links. You don't wanna share this with anybody. Obviously this is what you're gonna be using to control everything. And it's just as simple as just copying this and pasting it, or you can just go to the live room just by paste, just by clicking this button right here. Now, I wanna shift gears real quick and show you what it actually looks like. I've pulled up the test webinar. This is what the controls actually look like. So you can see we're off the air, but you can see we have the option to turn our webcam on. You've got the option of turning your microphone on and off. You've got the ability to turn your screen share on, and this is where you start the webinar to go live. So you can see right there, you click on that little green button and that's when it goes live. You have the option to enable chat. So uh, this is where you can set this up. Uh, you've got different options here on the right hand side where you display the number of attendees. And you've also got the option of redirecting attendees to a URL once the webinar is done. So you can see here, you've got a chat uh, a chat box here. This is when people will start chatting. This is where you can send messages to them as well. You've got polls, you offers, videos, file sharing, and slide presentations, and then speaker requests. So all in all, it's pretty simple to do. It's pretty simple to configure, and I highly recommend that you check it out. Right now, they've got a 60-day trial where you go to the link that I have below this video and then what's going to happen is it's going to it's zero dollars and you try it out for 60 days and then at the time of this video I think it's 497 a year thereafter if you like it so again I highly recommend this I've been using every webinar for a long time which is compatible with Webinar Jam because what you are able to do is you're able to take your Webinar Jam webinars because you're doing these in real time and then you can convert the ones that do really well for you, you can convert them into an evergreen webinar. So that makes it super, super simple as well. I may do a, a separate video on how to, con uh, how to configure 
both of these back and forth between each other, but they are compatible between the two. So again, click the link below. That's gonna take you to the special trial offer for where you can test this out for the next 60 days. So hope you enjoyed this video. Derek Pierce here, take care, and I'll see you real soon.